everyone. So I have here, this is the long-awaited July box from Our Atelier. It, um, I actually got it on, I believe, either Tuesday or Wednesday of this week. And um, I didn't get to film it until Friday. Today is actually the 10th of September. So um, let's go ahead and unbox it. Okay. Yeah, it actually, she shipped it, I believe, July 7th or something like that. And it literally took that long because, um, I mean, with the pandemic going on, everything um, is being held up at the port. You know, I don't know what it is. Every time I film is when the air conditioner turns on. But this whole time um, that I've been in the house, it has not kicked in. I don't know why it always uh, turns on when I'm actually filming. It's so annoying. Okay, so the theme for July was um, trains. There was like a, yeah, so you can see there's like trolleys and trams. So let's go ahead and open it. The box came in a pretty, you know, as usual, it's dented a little bit, but that's okay because it doesn't affect what's inside. So let's go ahead and open it up. Pretty excited about this because, um, you know, it kind of reminded me of the trains that I saw when I was in Japan. So I have here the first one, the stamp um, for this month. So let's go ahead and open it. Oh, I like this one. Ugh. So, here we go. I'm going to hold it up. Very nice. It's the rubber stamp. Okay. And then, uh, yes, I love this. These are the tickets. They actually look like they're in better, they're like better quality than the ones that I got from AliExpress. Um, I had ordered, I think, two, maybe one, one roll that's um, somewhat similar to this. Like the vintage looking tape, or not tape, I'm sorry. It is tape, <laughs> I will say that. Like a ticket washi, so. And you get a lot, I mean, look at that. And I don't, I don't have that color either, because I've got, I'm looking over there right now, I've got pink, I think, and purple. Okay, so here are the um, stamps for this month. So as you can see, let me focus here. So we've got ticket, um, stamp, a scene from inside the trolley. Um, it looks like some, uh, like another ticket. And here is another electric trolley. Oh, how, how cute. It even says our atelier there. And then another ticket. Aw, I like that. So, okay. So the first pack of ephemera here. Oh wow, these are pretty. I like the color. Crimson Limited. What's this one? Le Petit Journal. Oops, there we go. And the London Tramways. Riding the trolley, it always reminds me when I lived in San Francisco. You could always ride the trolley cars on, um, well, there is the trolley and I lived literally right at the end of the Powell and um, Market line. So I would hear them um, coming, you know, going up and down the hill every day. And if you had a fast pass, well, I'm pretty sure if you have a fast pass now, I don't even know if they're called fast passes, which is the monthly pass for the bus, you could ride the um, trolley cars for free. So, um, I, you know, I didn't do it all the time because obviously they would be packed with tourists. The only time that I would really ride them would be like maybe early in the morning because they would start running like about maybe I think six. Um, if I had to go downtown, like especially down to um, Union Square because that's where they would end. And, um, and then I would also ride them at night because I used to take classes at City College. I would take uh, Filipino classes and um, after work and then, you know, take the Muni, um, or the BART actually, I would take that all the way to City College and then when I would uh, get off at, great, 
now I can't even think of the name of the station. But anyways, the station that's right there where the trolley is, and then I would just catch the trolley because there wouldn't be a line. And obviously not all the cars, so then it wouldn't have to make as many stops because not a lot of people are riding it too. So I'd get home pretty fast compared to having to wait for the damn bus. So anyways, okay, so here is the ephemera in the second pack. So I've got a lot of tickets, and that was what I was excited about when I saw the preview for the um, for this box. A record of transit, more little miniature, um, I'm not sure for travel, it's like some kind of a voucher. And then as, as usual, there's always the little t um, labels you know, that you get. Sorry if this is all out of focus. Okay, so we've got a lot of um, various scenes here with tickets and like um, advertisements, maps. This is very, this is like on handmade paper. Um, so here's some more labels. And then you got a little ticket book here, which is great. Here is the calendar for the month of August. It's always a month ahead. This is the July box, but I think she always gives you the, the month ahead. So more of that, more like vouchers. Oh, then this is on like a thicker cardstock. And then you've got some advertisements here and uh, a dictionary page. Half, one half of it and then we've got the other half here which looks like they are uh, washi so these are tickets it looks like it had come apart somehow that's kind of weird I think they were all stapled together at some point or something yeah they came apart so you got these and then we are getting into the vellum pieces here which probably also came apart somehow, <laughs> but that's okay. So they're vellum, but I think they're, yeah, they're sticker also. So got various ones there. Great, fell down, okay. And then some square collage pieces here. ticket, more collage pieces, and then we've got some maps, not oh, good, now the AC is turning off, okay, and then um, she's been including these in the last couple of boxes, the uh, textured, uh, it's like a cutout, I don't know what to call it, but it's really cool, I just have to figure out how to use it, I'm going to have to look up some examples. And if you've gotten a box from our atelier, how have you used this? I'm curious. So let's go put that all in there. I always like to put all the stuff away. Um, I think maybe in a future video, I'm gonna show how I store all of my our atelier ephemera because the boxes were just piling up and I really needed to like do something with them. So I finally took them all out of the boxes and um stored them in one you know one storage container so that way it's easy for me to just pull everything and actually make use of it because when they're in the boxes it's kind of out of sight out of mind you know as it is with a lot of stuff that we buy these days for crafting or journaling or junk journaling so all right so this one oh my god this is a lot of pieces okay so I hope I'm in focus here. These are a lot of small pieces. There, let me just get all of this and hold it up so you can see. I mean, you get a lot in this, you know, in her boxes. So we've got like labels, labels, more tickets. And these are stickers. All of these that I'm showing right here, these are all stickers. We got some tickets there, okay some ads nice um, and then we've got some florals here and labels and 
you know, gosh, there's just so many <laughs> to show you. Yeah, just a lot. Oh, wow. These are all, these are gold embossed, which I haven't seen. Um, there you go. Stickers. And then more labels. And these are also sticker back. I'm definitely going to use these this month. These are really pretty. And I will show you after this some of the stuff that I've used so far from some of the boxes. Um, more labels. And then we've got an invoice, a bus pass, and an ad. Okay. I like to keep it all together. Okay. All right. And then the last um, part are the handmade papers. Okay. Here we go. Oh, these are different. Okay. So we've got a trolley here on handmade paper. Looks like the magazine cover. The P Le Petit Journal. There's a smell coming from this. It almost smells like, maybe it's ink. Maybe that's what I'm, yeah, I think that's what I'm smelling. And then these are different from what she sent before. So we have some diagonal um, gold embossed kind of paper, handmade paper. I think it's this. This is interesting. It is, I can smell it. This is so interesting. It's like gauze. Kind of excited to use that. That's good that the ink's not coming off. And then here's some of the natural paper, handmade. And then we've got some um, reproduction of like letters. Okay. So that is what came in the um, July box for our atelier. If you're interested, she probably she might still have some of these boxes in stock. You have to go to her website. I believe it's like r.atelier.shopify or if you just type in r.atelier it should come up but you can purchase um, some of the previous boxes if she still has them in stock you can still purchase them so let's put this in actually Let me go ahead and show you what I uh, have done with some of the stuff that I've gotten in, in the previous boxes. So let me put this in. I need to save that because I always use that for packing. Happy Meal. So this is a traveler's notebook that I've um, that I made. And I've made this one into like a junk journal. So I've used some of the stuff that she had included. Like this one was, I think, from the June box. Um, and then stuff that I have. So here's like some of the tickets, the sticker tickets that I have. So let me show you, like, here we go. So this is, I've just used a variety of things that I have. Like I had this washi from a group order on Facebook. This is from that botanical book sticker book that I ordered from um, Amazon. This is from a Japanese newspaper that I brought back when I went to Japan. Um, I don't remember where I got this. I think this actually, no, no, no. I think this came with the June box. Um, this was a stamp, I believe, that I also um, got from scrapbook.com. Um, yeah, and then like the, this one right here, I printed it out. This one also I printed out. I purchased um, like images from um, Etsy, vintage um, images. I printed it out and then just cut it out. So this is washi, empty washi, like the original washi from uh, Japan. Like I had ordered this from um, some website here in the U.S. Same with this one right here. So, 
yeah, here's another one that I've done. These are stamps that I purchased from Etsy um, that like world stamps, like a set. Um, you know, some more tickets that I got. I mean, this was from Amazon, some st uh, sticker stamps that are of, of a botanical design. I've probably shown them before. This is also from the June box. Um, this is two. Uh, this one is from Tim Holtz. Um, I forgot the name of the uh, collection. So, yeah. And then this is another one that I've done. I'm, you know, like I'm not completely finished with some of these pages. I might go back and maybe add some more. Like this is a, a book that I had purchased. Well, it's from a book that I had purchased from the um, last library sale that I went to, which was probably 2019. And I had found this this old Trixie um, Belden book with the pages like aged like perfectly so and I had completely forgotten that I had it and I was just like digging through some stuff and I found some of the pages that I had torn out I was like oh my god they're perfect so yeah you know um here is like the first page now this stuff is like this is washy but it keeps coming popping back up so I have to like go back and then I put a little um target dollar spot pocket here so I could store some of the stuff if I want to use it later on um, I might do that to the back, I don't know. So I just put some of the scraps and whatever that I'm gonna use on the future pages and even in between some of the pages. Like I have these stickers here from Joann's. And yeah, so it's just, you know, when I'm in the mood to actually like collage and, you know, do stuff like this. I figure I'll start with a traveler's notebook and then move on up to something bigger. <laughs> But for now, this is pretty easy because I have so many of these inserts that I made for all of these traveler's notebooks that I had created to sell at the craft fairs and that's left over now. So yeah, it's a way to like use up. I still need to get rid of the uh, TNs that I made, but I don't mind keeping all of these inserts. So that is the Art Atelier August box. No, I'm sorry, July box. <laughs> all right, so um, I have another haul that I'll be featuring. It's from stuff that I got from Facebook. Um, so yeah, look for that video, okay? I hope everyone has a good weekend. All right, bye.